Well, well, well. Fancy that. I'm back for more. Mega Man NG here. Welcome back to Skullgirls Second Encore. A new character's dropped. Let's get started with Parasol's sister, Umbrella. Umbrella. Hi, I'm Umbrella Renoir. Apparently my last name is a big deal because it means I'm the princess of a whole country. Cool, right? Wrong. It's super annoying. You think being a princess means I get to be in charge? But instead, everyone else bosses me around over every little thing I do. And the bossiest of them all is my big sister Parasol. She's the coolest big sister there is. But she's also a big jerk who never lets me have any fun. She's been working hard every day ever since mom died to make our kingdom a better place. Beating up bad guys and kicking butt in the name of justice. Isn't that awesome? So why doesn't she let me come with her? I want to kick butt in the name of justice too. Being a princess sucks. And being a little sister is even worse. Well, it's not all bad. There's at least one cool thing about being a princess. Get an umbrella that talks. Why don't you introduce yourself, Hungern? <laughs> Great job, Hungern. He says he's pleased to eat you. I'm sure he meant to say he's pleased to meet you. Everyone says Hungern is a horrifying weapon of unfathomable power, but he's actually a big slobbery cutie and my best friend. That's right. We're unbeatable and adorable. We can kick bad guy butt just as hard as Parasol can. Together, we can even beat up the Skull Girl. Not to brag, but guess what? That's exactly what we did. It all started when Parasol decided to take us to the boardwalk. I don't know why you insisted on wearing your raincoat on a clear day. Do you really want to spend our one afternoon together at the boardwalk in that stuffy outfit? Obviously. This is way cooler than that tacky princess stuff. Besides, if I wore something fancy, Hungern would just drool all over it anyway. Then he gets super duper big sister mad at me. Hungern is your responsibility. That means making sure it doesn't drool, doesn't cause a seeing, and doesn't eat anything. Or anyone that it isn't supposed to. Rude! Hungern would never eat people! Would you, Hungern? See? Look at how much he agrees! He's even drooling! <sighs> Every day I wonder if bestowing you with Hungern was truly the right decision. Come on! How am I supposed to have fun without my best friend? Hungern is not a toy or a pet. I gave it to you for your own protection. So when you insist on feeding it, at least limit Hungern's diet to proper food only. Boring! Why'd you give me a living weapon if I'm not allowed to fight? Believe me, if there was any other way to make sure... Never mind. For now, Hungern is only to be used for self-defense. I told you he wouldn't eat people, but fine. He's happy eating garbage anyway. Feeding it garbage for entertainment is not an acceptable use of a family heirloom. Come on! Why not? Hungern loves garbage. Garbage is not food. It's food for some things, like raccoons and Hungern. Absolutely not. Its breath smells bad enough already. Roger that, Princess Commander-in-Chief of the No Fun Police. That is not my rank. Besides, we're having fun right now. We're at the boardwalk. There are games, ice cream, and rides. We're surrounded by fun. But we're still arguing like we always do. We could go on a ride. That's fun. Although, come to think of it, they don't look very safe. Maybe we could play a game instead. Throwing balls up a slope or firing a quirk gun and stuffed animals seems to be considered fun by the people here. Sis, you're great at beating up bad guys and keeping the kingdom safe, but you suck at having fun. I wish you'd taken us to jail instead. I want to see that cool Geigen lady from TV. We haven't had sister time for far too long. We should spend it doing something fun and wholesome together, not gawking at society's miscreants. But I want sister time when you're where you're doing cool stuff, fighting bad guys and saving the kingdom. That work is serious, dangerous, and wait, someone's calling. What is it? I told you not to interrupt today. I'm an umbrella and we're having fun. What? The Skull Girl? In New Meridian? Now? Ready the egrets. I'm on my way. I 
get to see you fight the Skull Girl? This is now the best day of my life. Honey's so good. Best behavior. Hunger and too. Absolutely not. It's much too dangerous. I'm a rage and have you evacuated back to Canopolis immediately. What? Boo! This is now the worst day of my life. We didn't even get ice cream. I... Okay, Umbrella. Umbrella, listen to me. If you're very good, do not go anywhere else and wait right there at the ice cream stand for the eagerts to pick you up. You can have as much as you want. Hunger wants ice cream too. A lot of it. Just this once, Hunger can have all he can eat. Up to one gallon. Do not talk to anyone else. Go to the ice cream shop and only at the ice cream shop. Am I clear? Yeah, Crystal. I'm on my way. Sure was a lot of talk about sister time for someone who doesn't spend any time with her sister. <sighs> it's fine. Let's see what flavors they have. I love some salted caramel. Oof! Hunger and stop! No choppies! Sorry, he never bites. He does bunker a lot, but he doesn't try to bite people most of the time. I mean, he bites at people, but he's not trying to eat them or anything. There was one time he tried to eat a cat, though, he w but he wasn't that serious about it, because I mean, if he had, oh boy, that cat be. Uh, can I help you, little girl? Are you lost? No, I can find a way my way around that just fine. We're getting ice cream. Ice cream, eh? That at the spot right now. We never did finish that milkshake. We don't have time for treats, Samson. We have to find Carol and the Skull Girl. Uh, who are you talking? Whoa! There's a monster in your head! Samson, this is why I told you to keep quiet. That's so cool! How did that happen? Where's your brain? Is doing your hair hard? You're full of questions, aren't you? Well, I don't remember. I don't even want to talk about it, and yes. Cool! Seems like it'd be fun! It isn't as fun as it looks. Trust me, kid. The alternative would have been worse. If hunger lived in my head, I'd be able to eat 10 gallons of ice cream in one bite. That'd be worth having rear hair. What? Wait, did she just say hunger? As in hunger, insatiable devourer of people, armies, civilizations, and everything in between? Uh, you must have him confused with someone else. Hunger's my best friend and a big sweetie. My big sister says he doesn't think or have feelings, but he talks to me. Mostly about how he's hungry. You just better not be a bad guy because he eats evildoers for breakfast. And lunch. And also dinner. Change of plans, Philia. We're gonna have to be the bad guys this time. What? Samson, no, I'm not gonna fight a little girl. Trust me, hunger is more dangerous than you can imagine. I don't know how she got hold of it, but we gotta stop it now before it eats that kid and half of New Meridian. He doesn't look that dangerous, just gross. But if even you think it's that serious. Sorry, little girl, I'll be taking that umbrella. Wait, you wanna fight for real? Cool, let's go. The two of us versus the two of you. Well, show sis, we can handle ourselves just fine. First battle, folks. We've been waiting forever for this. Hope you're ready, because we're starving. Make it flashy, guys. Action! Oh, I Let will be flashy and then some! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Yeah, Umbrella. She has a unique gimmick. Basically, the chomp. She has salt grinders. A lot of different moves. But she also has a gauge. And that gauge basically depends. She she has like a lot. Let's get yeah, so if you notice the chomping. Oh, that's cute. That's more like it. This kid's a full of work. Yeah, I gotta make it happy, otherwise the tax will not be effective. Painful. We have to go. Our kingdom needs us. Are you serious? That gotta be literal. Yay! We actually did it! 
I knew the whole time there was no chance they could beat us. And I wasn't scared even a little bit. What is that thing? How can anything be that powerful? Or that gross? Yeah, no kidding. I've never met a monster like this one. You said you knew all about that living weapon. Not the umbrella, the kid. Hunger needs life energy so fast she should be dead just being close to her in this long. If she's still standing, she's more of a freak than he is. I hope the two of you learn your lesson. You can't attack random people for no reason. Even if it is. It is really fun. Are you sure you're really okay? Samson says that weapon you have is dangerous to you and everyone around you. He's not dangerous. Well, he's not to me. And you two aren't hurt too bad, are you? No, which is another surprise. Short stuff over here sure has hunger and well trained. What Samson meant to say is he's very sorry. He won't do anything bad ever again. Yay, we save the day. Wait until Parasol hears about this. Parasol? That name sounds familiar. Isn't she some kind of royalty? Wow, um, how about we drop that subject and pick up some ice cream instead? My sister's paying. That's a lot of slobber. He might not be dangerous, but he's pretty gross. Hey, don't be mean. Hunger isn't gross. He's the cutest. Cute. Him? <laughs> you sound like Carol when she talked about my dog. He was super gross, but she loved him so much. Wait. Dog? What dog? Ugh. Easy, kid. Don't force it. Carol was so important to me, and she's in big trouble. I wish I could remember more. Maybe then I'd be able to find her. What does she look like? Does she look cool and have a weird monster in her head like you? Maybe we can keep our eyes out for her. When I ran into her earlier, it was like she was being controlled by someone else. They hooked spinning blades to her spine and turned her into some kind of nightmare weapon. Wow. So she looks even cooler than you do. That's one way to put it. Still, if you do see her, let her know I'm looking for her. Just be careful. She isn't herself these days. It was nice fighting you too. I promise I'll help your friend if I ever see her. They were nice, weren't they? You still want ice cream? Let's get some. Sorry, sold out. Come back tomorrow. What? Are they still on already? Can't fight the skull girl on an empty stomach. Eat up, fellas. Hey! No fair! You do it's cut in line and you can't hold all the ice cream. That one doesn't even have a mouth. Lenny, it's okay. Don't listen to her. Ah, jeez, he's crying now. Look what you did. I'm gonna give you a piece of my mind. Well, you look familiar. Almost like some kind of princess. Ugh, not me! No princesses here! Well, gotta go. Enjoy your ice cream. Bye! Stop complaining. We aren't lost. We're just taking the scenic route. Besides, it's the city's fault. I bet we would have caught up to my big sis already if all those buildings weren't in the way. Hey, that's it. If we climb them, finding Parasol should be easy. I'm so smart. If we hurry, we'll probably get there in time to see her fight the Skull Girl. I've climbed plenty of trees, so a skyscraper is no sweat. Just think about it like a really tall tree made of metal and rocks. See, Hunger, and this is easy. Though, these buildings are really tall. My hands are getting tired. Whoa! Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Wee! Here we go, kiddo. Safe and sound. You know, climbing buildings is pretty dangerous. Why don't you leave the acrobatics to the professionals? Wow, you're strong. Wow, cool outfit. Wow, cool hat. Are you part of the circus? You got it. If you promise me a good girl and not climb buildings, I'll give you a free ticket to see me do my stuff under the big top. Really? Okay, I promise. I've always wanted to see the circus, but my sister won't let me. She says it's run by the Medici Mafia and they're super bad. They kidnap people, beat up anyone who crosses them, and organize crimes. That's worse than regular crime! Maybe your sister's been watching a little too much TV. The news loves stories about the big scary Medici, but in real life, they're nothing like that. Really? I thought organizing crime was bad. The Medici's might have a scary reputation, but they aren't bad guys. Take Vitaly, for instance. All he organizes is a circus. Is that a big crime? Just don't ask how we got the elephants. I guess any crime involving elephants is a big crime, but that doesn't sound like a very bad one. See? You get it. A circus makes everyone life more fun. It's win-win. 
A way better deal than anything that snobby royal family ever gave us. They love to make a big show of keeping the peace, but who's actually out in the streets helping people? Not the fancy egrets, that's for sure. Sarah Bella, are you done playing with that child? Need I remind you we have a life gen to procure? <sighs> no, Eliza. Then what are you... Wait, Hunger? What is she doing with a Renoir weapon? Hey, it's been great talking to you, and I'm glad Hungern's getting the recognition he deserves, but we really should be going... What are you talking about? She's just a little kid. Oh, my dear Sarabella, don't you recognize a member of that royal family you so despise? This girl must be Princess Umbrella Renoir. She's worth almost as much as Lorenzo's precious life gem. Little girl, how would you like to see the circus? Right now. Um, no thank you. You're extremely scary. Oh, what a pity. Sarabella, why don't you and I show our darling princess some traditional Medici hospitality? B but she's just a kid. She didn't have anything to do with... Is that so? So you don't think her family should pay for the war that destroyed your home country? Sorry, I can't remember. Was it Franz's war or Nancy's rampage that left you orphaned and begging for scraps? It's so hard to keep track of Renora atrocities. Wait, they did what? But you're right. The Renora children are surely innocent. Remind me, how many of your friends did Parasol and her egrets arrest in her last raid? She hasn't done anything. Yet. Her family is the one who should pay. And with the daughter of royalty as our bargaining chip, we can make them pay quite handsomely. Think of all the good you could do with just a small portion of what the Renors keep for themselves. We don't have to hurt a hair on her head. Sorry, kiddo. This isn't about you. I knew I could count on you, darling. I thought you were nice, but you're just another bad guy. Well, I'm not scared of you. Me and Hungrun won't lose. Two on one. Let's see how we'll fare. We've been waiting forever for this. Hope you're ready, because we're Quiet starving. Quiet on the set! Action! Yes, indeed! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna speed you. Don't chew you up and spit you out! Seriously, this girl is something else! Seriously, what is with this girl? Umbrella's just so good to use! Yeah, I'm gonna spit you up, chew you up, and spit you back out. Yeah, get wrecked, Eliza. You're not nice at all. And Hungren thinks you taste terrible. Exactly. We did it! We beat the bad guys, right? Impossible! How could I lose to a child? I'll show you how serious I can be. I'm sure your family will pay just as handsomely for you if you're missing a limb or two. Oh, give it a rest. You knocked her out? Please, you're not really a bad guy, are you, Sarabella? I can't believe I'm hearing this from the daughter of that tyrant and his genocidal monster of a wife. Ugh, what a joke. Whatever, there's no point in yelling at a kid. Even you don't deserve whatever Eliza has planned for you. Get out of here before she wakes up or I change my mind. Wait, what was that scary lady saying before? Did mom and dad really do those things? Aren't we the good guys? You're a kid. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Go on, run. Stop calling me a kid. Jeez, you're as bad as my sister. Whenever I ask anyone to tell me about anything, they call me a kid and change the subject. I mean, you're at least honest, even if you hate my family. Even the Renard's own kid is sick of the lies, huh? Fine, I warned you. So your parents meant to do good, huh? Too bad that's not what they did. Maybe your dad didn't mean to start a war and your mom might not have meant to turn to the Skull Girl and kill everyone and turn them into zombies. But they still did it anyway. But dad was just trying to stop the fighting. He wanted to stop the fighting? 
He started the war in the first place and then sabotaged the peace talks. Some good guy, he was nothing but a greedy tyrant. But M mom wished to end the war. That was the whole point, a pure wish to make it all better. Maybe the queen really did feel bad about the war France started, but she made it a hundred times worse. It only ended after a bloodbath that cost thousands of lives and ruined countless more. Maybe that's what it took to stop that tyrant, but if you ask me, there's no way she could have made a selfish wish. Your mom turned into the worst skullgirl anyone can remember. Everything good they did for you and your kingdom came at a price, and it was people like me and my family who paid it. You're lying! Stop it! They would never do that! You're the one who wanted to hear it, remember? Tch, I knew this was a waste of time. I don't feel any better at all. Just bitter. Ugh. She's waking up. Get out of here. I'm serious this time. We got away from that scary skeleton lady at least, but now we're really lost. I know, I'm hungry too, but more than hungry. I'm mad. I can't believe someone who's so nice and strong would work for someone so bad. It's all mixed up. She was talking like, we're the bad guys. Parasol says bad people are just selfish and greedy, but I wonder if sometimes they do bad stuff because they think they're the good guys. I thought you have to be pretty dumb to mix up good and bad, but it sounds like mom and dad and Parasol did it all the time. Why didn't they just do good things in the first place instead of doing bad things and expecting good things to happen? That doesn't make any sense! Good guys are supposed to do good things and beat up bad guys. Why don't grown-ups get something so obvious? I don't know if I even want to find Parasol or even go home anymore. We can find food somewhere else. Maybe we can eat garbage. Hey there, little lady. What are you doing all by your lonesome out here? You lost? You should go home. It's dangerous. You never know where the Skullgirl will show up next. Do you need help finding your mom? My mom died after becoming the Skullgirl, so I don't really need any help finding her or anything. Pretty sure I know where she is. Oh, uh, oh, wow. I'm really sorry, kid. What about your dad? Where is he at? If you don't like hearing about what happened to my mom, you're not going to like the answer to that question any better. Well, what about your... Wait, I'm not making the same mistake again. Anyway, you slice it, a kid like you shouldn't be out here all alone. Look, mister, I'm trying to have an existential crisis here, and it's really hard when you won't leave me alone. Why do you care, anyway? Why? Because I'm Beowulf, wrestling star, friend of all children of enemy of evil. I'm on a comeback streak to take New Meridian by storm. Beo... who? You know, Beowulf! Everyone knows Beowulf! Are you supposed to be famous or something? Come on, it's me, wrestling star Beowulf, the hero who, hero who slew Grendel and his mother too, on live TV! I've never seen you on TV, and I watch a lot of TV. Kids these days, this is why my comeback is more important than ever. This generation needs inspiration. Holy smokes, what sort of freakish beast is that? Don't worry, I'll save you! Um, that's not what happening? That's not even close to what's happening. Hungern's just... I can see the headlines now. Beowulf sales saves little girl from monster. I'm back, baby. He's just hungry and, you know, I don't feel like trying to correct you anymore. You asked for it, mister. Hope you like it. Extra salty. Oh, I'm bringing out the salt. That I promise you. Hey, Mr. Hunter Face. You famous yet? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Hey, don't eat him next time. Get off, man! Stop that! Come on, stop it, man! What you're starting to get on my nerves! That's all? Yeah, get swallowed on. Seriously though, who was that guy? That's what I wanna know, Bail Umbrella. Sorry I tried to save you from that very, uh, cute pet you got there. It's a real handful, or, or is it a mouthful? Hey, 
Thanks, Mr. Beowulf, or whatever you are. I feel a little bit better after beating you up. Like I said, the name's Beowulf. B-E-O-W-U-L-F. But I'm glad I could help. As long as you learned your lesson, don't you know how trying to help just makes things worse? Hey now, that's too pessimistic for a kid to say. Sounds like you need a bit of that Beowulf magic to cheer you up. You've got even less of a chance of saving me from bummers than you do from hunger, unless you know a magical way of going back in time to stop my parents from being big idiots who cause problems on purpose. Hey, you're a grown-up, aren't you? You're like super old and retired? The wolf never tires and will never retire. I'm on my way to a comeback. Oh cool, so that's a yes. Why do good people do bad things? You're a grown-up, so you know the answer, right? Um, I don't really know the answer to big questions like that, but I'll tell you what I do know. You can't change the past, no matter how much you want it to. The only thing you can do is look to the future with a burning passion in your heart and do the best you, you can with what you've learned. Even if what's done is done, there's a future out there counting on us. You can do right by your folks by not making their same mistakes. Wow, that actually makes sense. It was almost kind of inspiring. You should be on TV. I can't stress this enough, but I literally was on TV. Maybe that's why Parasol doesn't think fighting bad guys is fun, because Dad did it all the time and it turned out really bad. If she just trusted me, she wouldn't have to worry about me, and I could take care of myself. I'm great at beating up random strangers. And what if Parasol starts acting like Mom and Dad and ends up doing something terrible because she wants to protect me? I can't let that happen. Thanks, Mr. Big Old Wolf, but I gotta go. Hope you get to be famous someday. Like I said, I'm already famous! Hunger, shh. I know you're hungry, but if the Eerids hear you, they'll just drag us home and we won't get to talk to Parasol. We need to talk to her. I'm mad about the lying and her going off to fight the Skullgirl Wanami, but this is even more important. Parasol's always trying to do everything all by herself, just like Mom when she tried to stop Dad. That's why they ended up fighting each other instead of working together. Am I gonna have to fight her the same way someday? No way. We can't let that happen. I'm gonna convince her we need to take on the Skullgirl together this time. Oh look, there she is. You're positive the Skullgirl's around here? How do we lose her? What's wrong with the Theonaut detectors? And you still haven't found Umbrella? This is a disaster. If I had known having fun would be so difficult, I would have practiced having it sooner. Perhaps then she wouldn't have run off. Forgive us, Princess. We're still searching, but... Hey, sis! Did you find the Skullgirl yet? Umbrella! How did you get here? Well, I, uh, got lost. The Skullgirl just destroyed Medici Tower. You need to get to safety immediately. Well, listen! I want to help this time! I knew I shouldn't have left you alone. This is all my fault. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. Adam, escort Umbrella home. Take a regiment with you. Hey, I'm not leaving! Hello? Can anyone hear me? Princess, I know you're worried, but we don't have anyone we can spare. I don't care what it takes to keep her safe. This family has lost enough. Listen to me! Umbrella, what's wrong? Your eyes! Nothing's wrong with me! And I'm not going anywhere! I'm not gonna let you get rid of me! This isn't a game, Umbrella. You could get hurt. You could get hurt, dummy. Did you ever think about that? Huh? You keep telling me I have to stay home, but Hunger and me are super strong. We can beat up any bad guys. I bet we're stronger than you. Where did this power come from? This shouldn't even be possible. Hunger should be suppressing it. Listen to me, Umbrella. You can't fight like this. That power isn't safe. Yeah? Then make me. Forgive me, Umbrella. I don't care how much you hate me, as long as you're safe. I'll protect you even from yourself. I don't need your protection, and I'll prove it! This little kid! If we win, Hunger gets to eat all the garbage he wants. This battle is all in the mind. Action! Let's go! Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna have to eat you up. Seriously, Umbrella is so difficult to you! Don't even bother, you're not even worth the effort. Exact the Mundo! 
when did an umbrella become so powerful? This shouldn't be possible! Is there nothing I can do to save her from Mother's Curse? See? We can take care of ourselves just fine. If we're stronger than you, you don't need to protect us. Please, Umbrella, you have to understand how dangerous the Skull Heart is. That power of yours is the exact reason you can't go anywhere near it. You're just trying to get rid of me. Why won't you let me help? If I'm not there to protect you, you'll do something stupid, just like Mom and Dad did. What do you know about what Mother and Father did? They made... Difficult choices that didn't put their feelings before their duty to the kingdom. But that's not the whole story, you liar! Apparently everyone but me knows that dad did a bunch of war crimes and mom was the worst skull girl ever! No, that's... that's not true! Yes, they made mistakes, but it's not that simple. It seems pretty simple to me. Dad started a war to protect the kingdom, but wars don't protect anyone. Then mom sacrificed herself to protect us from the war, and dad sacrificed himself to protect us from her! In the end, no one protected anybody. They did the entire opposite of that, and now it's just you and me. Damn it, Umbrella. We don't have time for this. When's it gonna be time then? Is it gonna be after you get yourself killed and leave me all alone just like Mom and Dad did? No, I would never. I would never leave you. Liar. If you won't protect yourself and you won't let me help, what am I supposed to do? Just sit in the castle while you risk your life until you lose it? If that's how it's gonna be, then I wish we weren't sisters! I'd be fine on my own and you never have to worry about me again! Umbrella, wait! I knew this day was going to come. Why'd it have to be today, of all days? Princess, we can find the Skull Girl. The Egrets will understand if you need to talk to her yourself. No, thank you, Adam, but I can't be selfish and put my feelings before the kingdom. I'm not sure I deserve a second chance to talk to her anyway. I was so mean. Sis is never going to want to see me again. Wah! Ew! Hunger! Stop licking my face! That tickles! Thanks. You always know how to make me feel better. I just wanted to help her. I wanted her to understand she didn't have to keep doing everything alone. I thought I was helping, but I just made everything ten times worse. I guess her family's just super good at that. Maybe it's hopeless. Hey, what's that noise? Is someone there? Keep searching. A massive Theonaut search was detected within a three-block radius of this point. The Skull Girl must be there. And yet there are high Theonite readings near the Grand Cathedral. A curious contradiction. We'll continue search, but what am I doing here? Focus, Painwheel. You're especially resistant today. That encounter with the Skull Girl and her fall of Parasite has you distracted. Hey, uh, are you... Uh, never mind, scary lady made of spikes! The Skull Girl? No, it's just a kid. You're not who I'm looking for. Ugh, you're looking at me kind of weird. Who are you mumbling to? Aren't you a little old to have an imaginary friend? My orders are to look for the Skull Girl. No, wait, I'm looking for a friend. My best friend. Her name is Philia. Oh, I met her earlier today. You must be who she was trying to find. Wait, that girl. What are these readings? This signature matches the Skull Girl's. I will interrogate the subject personally. You, child, who are you? Ah! Your imaginary friend is real? I see. You're the youngest Renor. That means your mother. Aha! You were exposed during fetal development. Fascinating. You have something in common with this girl, Painwheel. Though it's result of more natural processes, she has Skullgirl blood just like you. Hey, that's my brain! Get out of it! An opportunity like this couldn't be more perfect. Bring her back for analysis. No, I won't fight her. I'm not gonna let you make her like me. I'm afraid you don't get a chance in the matter. I am exerting direct control this time. Initiate protocol zero. Help, please. He's controlling me. Stop me, please. You can't let him get you too. Your imaginary friend is a big bully. Sorry if this hurts, but we won't let him boss you around anymore. Now against... It takes less effort to smile than to frown. Pain wheel. Make it flashy, guys. Action! Let's make it count! <laughs> Full charge! <laughs> yeah, she has no air attack. Uh, 
Now they're like mimicking the battlefield. Come on, come on, come on! Get wrecked. Goodbye. That was surprising. Why are you still resisting direct control? Come on, angry lady. Don't let that shadow jerk control you. What is this interference? Resonance between their skullgirl blood. It's breaking my the link. Pain wheel. Obey. My name is Carol. Yeah. Ow. Are you okay, angry lady? That scream was super loud. I think so. At least brain drain isn't in my head anymore. You're really scary, but the nice lady with the mean hair said you were a good person. So I believed in you. Who? Philia? She really said that? Yeah, she was super worried about you. Oh, and my name's Umbrella. Are you okay? Like the princess? My name's Carol. But you probably knew that from how loud I yelled at before. Your friend there hits pretty hard, but it's nothing compared to what it felt like having brain drain stomping around in my head. Oh no, sorry about Hungern. He doesn't know how to hold back, but he's really nice when you get to know him. Do you want to sit down? I'm really tired too. I had a big fight with my sister because I can't control my unfathomable dark power. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. The unfathomable dark power is pretty cool, I guess. But fighting with my sister sucks. She's super good at kicking butt and doing the right thing, but we never seem to agree about anything. It sounds like you care about her a lot, even if you fight. I do, except I was a big jerk to her and caused her tons of problems and ran away. I don't think she's ever going to want to see me again. I wanted her to listen to me, so I yelled and screamed exactly what I thought as loud as I could, which didn't work for some reason. It might sound odd coming from me, but yelling and screaming doesn't usually help solve problems. I know. I just don't know what else to do. Fights like that are hard, but I think even after a big fight, if she really loves you, she'll forgive you. I guess that's true. Even though my big sister is a big jerk sometimes, we make up in the end eventually. After we have another big fight about it. That sounds a lot like my parents. They're really strict and overprotective, but I know it's out of love, even when it's a bit too much. I wish I could go see them, but I don't know if I could ever go back to them while I look like this. Of course you can! Yeah, you look like a freaky porcupine helicopter death machine, but it's not your fault! Plus, they got a daughter that can fly now. If they don't think that's the coolest thing ever, they're stupid. Yeah, maybe I hope you're right. Umbrella, there you are. You have to come with me right now. We need to get out of here. Why? What happened? Where's Parasol? The Skull Girl completely overwhelmed our forces. Some kind of shape-shifting monster took us by surprise and separated us from Parasol. She told us to evacuate the city while she held off the Skull Girl. Please, you have to come now. She can't hold the Skull Girl off forever. No, this is exactly what I said what was going to happen. Sorry, Adam, I can't go with you. I need to save Parasol. Umbrella, you can't. She warned us that the Skull Heart is especially dangerous to you. I know this is hard, but don't let her sacrifice be in vain. I don't want her to make a sacrifice at all. I'm not going to let her end up the same way mom and dad did. Do you really want Parasol to die? Of course I don't. I know all too well what happened to the king and queen. I never want Parasol to experience anything like that ever again. Then why are you, what are you waiting for? If being around the skull heart is so dangerous, I trust Parasol to save me. Just like I'm going to save her. It might be risky. It might be dangerous. And she might yell at me again. But at least we have a chance to both be alive by the end. So I'm going, no matter what. There's nothing I can do to change your mind, is there? If I can't stop you, then the Black Egrets are going with you. Let's save Parasol together. Wait, let me come too. I was made to fight the Skull Girl. Yay! More friends! See? Everything will work out if we believe in ourselves or whatever. Let's go! Come in, Egrets. Molly, Adam, Roxy, Panzerfaust. Is anyone there? Double has already suppressed them. If I can defeat you all on my own, Skullgirl, 
I've been training for this day for seven years. I thought you would have appreciated the end of the Medici rot infesting the city. And you expecting me to believe it'll end there? There is only one fate for a stall girl, no matter how noble you might think yourself. I know that all too well. Your mother's fate still weighs on you, I see. Too much for us to see eye to eye. What do you know about her? Only that she fought against fate for as long as she could, and that she left behind a daughter that will share her same end. No, she will not. I took precautions to make sure that would never happen. Then you have underestimated the power of the Skull Heart. I can feel her power growing and the Skull Heart calling for her in turn. Queen Nancy would pale in comparison to the Skull Girl created if your sister were to wish on the heart. You'll never lay a finger on Umbrella. I'll destroy you and the Skull Heart Bolt before that happens. After every memory of the Medici has been wiped from this world, you may kill me as you wish. Until then, I will fight you with all my power. Egrets, attack! What? Where did they come from? Umbrella, no, you can't be here. I totally can. Watch me. Look at how here I am right now. Umbrella, listen. No, we're not doing this again. You have to listen now. Take care of your sister. We'll handle the Skull Girl. Egrets, charge! No. I can still fight. Look at how bad you're hurt. Of course you can't fight. This is nothing. If I don't fight, who will keep you safe? If you sacrifice yourself, I won't have any family left. How are we gonna have family time if you're dead? You said you'd never leave me. Did you think about that, dummy? No, Umbrella, I... Of course I won't leave you alone. I'm sorry that I almost did. You're super cool, sis, but you can't be cool if you're dead. Who's gonna protect me if that happens? You need someone to protect you, too. That's why I'm here. That's why I've got hunger. Ah! Look out! We can't hold her back! Don't worry. This time we'll protect each other. Come on, sis! I just can't win with you, can I? Then let's fight. Together. That makes for a really awesome wallpaper. Two-on-one final battle. Let's have fun instead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Let's go! Yeah, let's it have her have a little fun. Ready number 13. Come on, let's get that. Let's finish the job, Umbrella! And that's game! You don't need to go hard anymore! Exactly! I see. So your will was stronger than mine. You remind me of someone who used to be very important to me. Maybe that's why I can't bring myself to keep fighting. Honestly, you didn't seem to that into it in the first place. What did you wish for that turned out so wrong? My wish? To destroy them, Adisi. To make them pay for everything they did to me and to my friends. Or was it? Either way, I somehow don't feel like fighting anymore. Yeah, no more fighting. I hope you get to rest now. Uh, ow! Something... Feels weird. Umbrella, my sweet daughter, you've grown so strong. It's finally time. 
Mom, is that really you? Ow! Something in my chest really hurts. Come with me and say the words. If you wish it, I can be with you again. Really? Sounds good. I wish. Don't do it! Hungern! Parasol! What's going on? Wait, what was I doing? Who are you? You're not mom! You pair our blood, child. Come to me. I can fix everything. The family you've always wanted can be yours. Mom, I want to see you so much. But you're not my mom. You're just a skull, so shut up! All you do is trick people into thinking they can solve everything the easy way. If you want people to make pure wishes, you aren't very good at it. What are you really after? No. What is this? This child shouldn't be strong enough to... Hungern, help! Let's smash this stupid thing! Hungern, protect Umbrella! Pass off! Let's do it! Right behind you. Cry, Krieg! You will be ours. We did it! You, me, and Hungern! I don't believe it. Did we really just defeat the Skull Girl? See? If we work together, nothing bad has to happen. We can have our cake and eat it too. I'm so sorry, Umbrella. I wanted to protect you from harm so badly. I forgot about everything else. I'm sorry too. I know it was a big brat for running away when you were just trying to protect me. I know you care about me. I care about you too. Let's not forget that again, okay? Okay, I promise. Oh right, is everyone else okay? Where's Carol? I'm fine. The eager egrets have been taking care of me. Oh goodness, who is this poor child? This is Carol, she's my new friend. She's the victim of a horrible experiment that made her look super cool. Can she sleep over tonight? I think we owe her a lot more than just a sleepover, but I suppose it's a start. It's really okay. I should find Philia. I know she's out there somewhere looking for me. Oh duh, of course. She can come over too, right Parasol? I suppose it wouldn't be too difficult for the egrets to find her. Yay! Slumber party! This is gonna be so much fun! Adam, give them an escort home and send a team to find this Philia. The rest of you, we got a mess to clean up. Oh no you don't, you're coming too! But I have to. What happened to sister time? It's medically necessary for you to learn how to have fun now before it's too late. We can take it from here, Commander. You've had a long day. <sighs> I can't win if everyone gangs up on me, can I? Alright, Umbrella. If you insist, I'll try my best. And that's how I saved the day, with a lot of help from my sister and my new friends. And hunger and too. Jeez, I was just getting to you. Anyways, the moral of the story is if you mess around and get in the fights all the time, eventually everything is okay in the end. Violence solves everything. Hooray for violence! <laughs> I like the way you think, kid. Don't encourage her, Samson. I'm not sure about that. I think violence causes more problems than it solves. But sis always solves problems with violence. Hey sis, tell me about how cool violence is. I really haven't been setting a good example, have I? How about tonight we try having some fun instead of glorifying violence? We're having fun right now, aren't we? You're smiling. Really? I am? You are. See, you can do it if you try. I guess we could watch any of the stars if you really get bored. But that show puts me to sleep. We don't have to do that. I never even heard that show or its adorable heroine. But you always watch it late at night when you think I'm in bed. Annie? Oh right, that kid's show. Didn't we watch when we were in grade school, Carol? I used to love that show. You a fan too? No, no, no! I'm never gonna live this down. See? You're having fun. Isn't it great? If I knew having fun would be this embarrassing, I would have stayed to clean up skeletons in New Meridian. Forget about being embarrassed and just have fun. It's sister time, and I'm happy you're my sister. Even if you're a dork who likes kid shows. I'm glad you're my sister too. Even if you're a big brat. 
Yeah, sorry about the interruptions and the edits and whatnot, but... Umbrella, where do I start with her? She is so different, and yet so fun as a character. I'm not kidding, it's just that awesome. I'm happy I got to experience it, and I was able to make sure I get it on time. So yeah, that's two characters down. I will say this, if you haven't tried Umbrella, you should. Thankfully, I was warned, I got notification that it came out today, so boom, there. So yeah, well, sorry about that. Like I said, Umbrella's interesting. Her gimmick is her umbrella. Basically, you need to make sure it's happy or else it won't be that effective. But man, I'm just gonna say it right here. She can be very, very tricky to work with. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just that I haven't played in a while, but I'm happy I got to experience this. But I can say this, I'll just be blunt. Umbrella's pretty fun. And if you haven't gotten a chance, you should. So yeah, two characters down, two to go. The next one is the Black Dahlia. I look forward to playing as her. That is it. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I will see you next time. This is Mayhem NG signing off. Peace out. This is a surprise. I didn't think even the Skull Girl nearly destroying New Meridian would be enough for you to risk leaving your chambers. Still, we just finished giving Carol a makeover. Perhaps you would do us the honor of joining in our fun. A royal invitation? I'm flattered, but I must decline. While I have faith in your abilities, I would fail you all as a canvas. Ah, to have my old hair back, it would have been a sight to see in ranglets. But please do not let me interrupt. Still, I ha shall I have more snacks brought upstairs? Hungern has likely licked up every crumb. For once, Hungern actually seems sated. Though who can say how long that'll last? Still, no reprimand, no diatribe on our responsibilities as heirs to the kingdom. I will say, Umbrella beat you to it. I'm just relieved you're both returned home safe, though I wish I could have heard Umbrella's words myself. I imagine it would have reminded me of some of the grand lectures you gave in your youth. Please, I wasn't that bad at her age. I was well-mannered, responsible, and my criticisms were both detailed and highly actionable. As I recall, you were also the commander of a full regiment of Annie of the Star's official action figures. Ah, how quickly children grow. I'm embarrassed enough by my behavior today, let alone by how I acted when I was 11. Sometimes it feels as if I haven't grown up at all. I'm still just a child, playing at being a leader. Far from it, Parasol. We realized your potential for greatness even then. For someone so young to understand the magnitude of what it takes to rule is a rare quality. So today I am relieved, and dare I say joyful. Umbrella has become for you what you were for so many others. Someone who will tell you the things that you need to hear no matter how little you want to hear them. I can only look forward to the day that both you, together, are lecturing me on what is best for the Canopy Kingdom. That day could be today, if you're ready for it. I think there's no better time to be honest with Umbrella. No, not tonight. For a long time, I believed hiding myself would protect her, until the day she was ready to handle the burdens of the Kingdom. But after seeing how strong and mature she has become, and how easily the two of you overcame the pride that led our family into tragedy after tragedy. I can see that day has already come. Yet tonight is not a night for me to intrude upon. What she needs most now is you, her friends, and fond memories to cherish. You deserve an evening as sisters, not princesses. But soon, I want to see my daughter again, when there is no need for secrets, no need for a king and no need for me to be anyone but her father.